Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the Astonishment card and this is about, uh, you know, wanting to do something but not having enough experience to actually do this particular thing. Uh, so this is about everybody following, you know, um, the rules and regulations. Uh, and maybe you're looking into the situation of changing things, but you're not quite sure if you want to get um, you know, in the queue or do everything that everybody else is doing. So maybe you want to do something very different uh, and you don't want to follow the crowd here. And maybe also you don't have enough experience to actually do this particular new thing that you want to do. So maybe you're thinking about it really. You're standing back and having a, a think about it. So you've got the nudity card over here, and this is about wanting to do something that is very creative. So it looks like you don't want to follow the normal uh, route of things. You don't want to do what everybody else is doing. You want to do something that takes you uh, and makes you unique. You want to do something that uh, defines you, uh, and you want to um, you know you don't want to uh, to just do the run of the mill. Um, um, job or maybe uh, you know do what everybody else is doing you're trying you're you're thinking or you're changing the way you look at things or the way you want to do things you got the tavern card over here so you might have been getting uh, together with a lot of friends recently um, and uh, you know uh, maybe um, you know meeting a lot more people on a social on the social basis or the social events um, so maybe your calendar is quite full right now. Uh, maybe this is even about relationships. Maybe you have been involved in, uh, you know, the, you went down the normal route about, uh, you know, getting into a, a relationship and, you know, getting married and so forth. And maybe that just didn't work out for you. So you are trying to do something that is very, very different, something that is very, very unique. You're trying to now follow your own, um, you know, path really. So in the past, you've got the gifts card coming in over here. So this is about, uh, you know, opportunities coming your way. It looks like something brand new has been presented to you. And it was something that you can, you can see these people are receiving sweets. So this is about, you know, being, um, you know, candy. This is about receiving some really good offer. Uh, you know, it's almost like a gift. You can see there's they, them carrying a big gift box over there. So something that had come your way. Uh, that has been, uh, you know, almost a gift from the universe for you. Um, you've got the nourishing card over here. So you have been putting a lot, uh, you've been giving a lot to a lot of people as well. Uh, you know, maybe doing a lot of charity work or maybe you're giving a lot of your time um, and effort uh, to people. So, um, you know, you've been focused on uh, doing something very selfless. So giving a lot of your energies away, going above and beyond the call of duty, really. Now, going into the future, you've got the fire card over here. So, some kind of big event coming in. It might be very dramatic as well. You've got a lot of fire over here. And this could be something that's going on uh, within your family situation. So, there's some kind of big drama, some kind of big crisis, some kind of big event coming over here to stir up the whole situation. It's got everybody talking over here, pointing at it. So, it's some kind of big change that comes in, uh, some kind of big issue that is uh, that you will need to deal with. You've got the foreigners card over here, so you might even be thinking about doing some travel as well. Uh, you know, collaborating, meeting new people, uh, and learning uh, from all these new encounters. So you might be thinking about, um, you know, going going out, maybe branching out into a global field. Maybe this is the new thing that you want to do. You know, you don't want to follow, um, you know, everybody else anymore. You want to branch out, be more creative, and you want to do some more travel as well. So that is definitely what you're planning to do. And you will learn a lot as well uh, by meeting all these new people. So something coming in, um, you know, to change events over there. This is almost like a, maybe like a tarot moment. Uh, you know, this is not usual normal tarot cards, but this is almost like some kind of big, event coming in, some kind of big change coming in that's going to allow you or shift your energies from being stagnant and being stuck or just, you know, doing uh, things that are just run off the mill, uh, you know, where you're just doing things like a drudgery, um, but it's going to allow you to travel and meet no new people and open some doors for you. Uh, so big changes coming in for you and maybe some more travel coming in as well. Where you get to meet a lot more people and uh, do things very differently. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Tarot Lenormand for the main read.
you got the uh, judgment card over here. So you are now being faced with a decision. You're at the crossroads in your life. It's about whether you want to stay in this particular situation or you want to move on. And, uh, you know, this is, if you move on, there's big transformation coming in. If you stay put, uh, you know, you will just be dealing with the same day-to-day -day things that you've always been dealing with. And there will be maybe no scope for growth as well. With the judgment card, it's about, uh, you know, you've got all the information now available to you to make that particular choice. And since it's a major arcana card, you are being called upon by the universe to make that big decision. Uh, you've got the Knave of Pentacles, so it's some kind of big decision that involves your work. Uh, you know, you have been focused on your work and your money, and it looks like right now you are being called upon to make a big decision about whether to stay put in that situation or whether to move on. With the Judgment card, if you move on, the success comes your way. So, you know, you need to take that chance, uh, but it depends on how willing you are to take a risk on moving forward. Because earth signs generally don't like to change the status quo. We like to be uh, stable and, you know, we don't like sudden changes. And it looks like, you know, you're being called upon to decide whether you want to carry on with this particular uh, um, field or whether you want to make any kind of changes. You know, there is the saying about better the devil you know than the devil you don't. So, you know, the unknown is very uh, scary. So this is a big decision you have to make over here. And you are contemplating uh, it quite a lot here. So you want to make a new fr a start. You've got the moon card over here and a, and a new moon on the card itself. Uh, so you are considering it. It is um, upsetting you. You've got that choice over there. And the moon card is about being a little bit confused, a bit depressed, not really seeing everything clearly, uh, not a lot of things come to light, and not really knowing what to do in that particular situation. Uh, you know, and being a bit, you know, there's a bit of regret that goes as well with that, uh, the moon card. So maybe you need to get more clarity within that situation first before you make these big decisions. You've got the seven of pentacles over here. So it seems like, uh, you know, with this card, some kind of offer has come in for you there. Because this man is making some kind of proposal to this woman. So there's kind of a new job opportunity that has presented itself to you. And you are sitting down and trying to decide about what you want to do in this particular situation. Now, with the seven of pentacles, it's about, uh, you know, it, the offer has been made and it seems to uh, show that it will you know, give you a lot of benefits. There's a lot of financial um, rewards that might come with this particular job, but you're not quite sure about it at this particular moment. So you are sitting back and you're trying to decide whether or not you could, should accept that particular opportunity. Now you can see even here this wolf is actually, or this dog is sitting down there trying to make a decision. And here you can see this woman sitting down deciding whether or not to accept this proposal. So you are at a little bit of a crossroads over there. And even with the judgment card, you know, trying to make a decision with this man kneeling over there. So you're not quite sure what to do. You are facing uh, a big change, a big life change at this particular moment and you're not particularly sure what to do. In the past, you've got the Two of Cups. So it looks like you moved out of a situation. Uh, it looks like you may have taken your family or your children. You have moved on by yourself and started something brand new. So you may have gone through a divorce or some kind of separation where you've had to move out of that place of stability and you know, you've had to move on your own path over there with that Two of Cups. Uh, you can see she's taken her children and she's going. And she's very self-sufficient. So it might be that you're a single parent and you've taken off your, your, your children and you've moved on away from that situation uh, that was not serving you anymore. You got the Five of Cups over here. So this is about loss. Uh, you know, you're still grieving over it. You can see this wolf has eaten this chicken or stolen this chicken. So maybe you feel that something has been emotionally taken from you. There has been theft uh, that has happened as well. Um, the Five of Cups is usually about crying. It's about regret. It's about loss. And it's emotionally based. So you have had things that you have lost. Uh, maybe you have to, you've had to just focus on the things that have remained in your life. So this woman is focusing on her children. Maybe that is what you've done. You let go of a uh, emotional situation or emotional tie and you've had to focus on the things that remained. Maybe it was children, maybe it was assets, something uh, that you had to focus on in order for you to get through this particular situation. But there's been a lot of regret, a lot of crying, a lot of depression as well that has gone through with that Five of Cups. 
Now you've got the hierophant over here. So this is about, you know, you've learned a lot of lessons over there. You're reviewing finances. You're reviewing your situation. You're also, you know, getting advice uh, as well with that hierophant. So getting a lot of input as well. Uh, this is about maybe, you know, even working in kind, some kind of institution, you know, maybe in the medical field, some kind of institution in the field of money. Um, because this is the card ruled by Taurus. But this is also about seeking new advice or seeking some proper, um, you know, practical advice in order for you to deal with the situation. So you are even reviewing your uh, all your religious ideologies. You also are seeking some kind of advice or you're thinking of seeking some advice. Um, and you're changing the way you, you look at things. The hierophant is about letting go of the traditional views and following a new path. And with the way, you know, your life has changed so much, it looks like you're thinking about, uh, you know, you're changing the way you look at things or the way you deal with things. You're not doing it the same way you used to do it before. And you've got the nine of wands over here. So this is defending everything that you have worked for. And this is a card about going to battle, uh, having fought a lot of battles and, you know, being quite... Um, you know, worn down, very tired, very broken by those situations. And but just going deep within yourself and finding in that last ounces of strength to do with things. Now, it looks like there's still some ongoing loss uh, in your life right now. This could be financial loss or so something's nibbling away at your security. You might even be, uh, you know, using up all your funds or, or you're going into your savings and using that to sort out whatever problems you have. It looks like there's still a lot of expenses. There's still a lot of problems that you're dealing with. Almost things that you don't seem to have very much control over. So you're still going through a a very difficult time now this won't last forever uh, this you know this is not a major arcana uh, these energies are fleeting energies so whatever problems you're being you're dealing with will come to an end but you just need to stand up there and defend yourself and just hang in there You've got the two of swords over here. So this is about making decisions. Uh, you know, this is also about breakdown of communications with people. Now you've got this big cross. This is the Norman card of fate, really. So this is about whatever happened, whatever decision you had, whatever breakup you had uh, with this particular person. You might be still having some legal issues with this particular person, but it was, you know, part of fate. It was part of the plan. It was, uh, there was a need for you to cut uh, this person out of your life and maybe this breakdown of communication you're severing them or cutting them completely out of your life blocking them out this could be also some kind of legal action that has been taken uh, so that you are your ties with this particular person are completely severed so whatever your karmic cycle was with this particular person or this particular situation is that you dealt with it's now over and done with and it's time for you to make a decision to move on the Two of Swords is about feeling stagnant and being too afraid to actually move forward. And you need to make that decision. You need to put your emotions aside, cut out all that emotional ties, make the decision and move on. And seeing things very clearly, you need to take any kind of blindfold off, uh, you know, see the truth for what it is, uh, see the deception or the lies or the betrayal that came with that particular situation, make that choice and move on. Now you've got the high priestess over here and this is about you know using your own intuition going deep within yourself and finding the answers within yourself so you might be spending a lot of time by yourself as well but know that you have all the tools that you need uh you are you know pretty uh, if you if this is a work situation you're dealing with you are pretty much um you, know, you have all the knowledge that you need to be able to sort things out you need to go by your gut instincts and rely on yourself, rely on your intuition. And know that you'll be, you're be—you're going to be able to um, you know, get out of whatever this jail is that you are, whatever this place is that you feel locked in. You're going to have to make that decision and cut yourself out of it. So you're going to have to rely on yourself. Make sure that you are doing your research, that you are, um, you know, um, relying on that inner knowledge and that inner strength in order for you to get out of this particular situation you are spending a lot of time with yourself right now maybe you are feeling a little lonely as well uh, but no it's not going to be something that's going to last forever you will be able to overcome this particular situation you do have the strength to do it <coughs> It looks like you want to get out there. You do want to socialize quite a bit. You might be feeling pretty lonely with that, um, you know, that high priestess card. So you are looking for opportunities for new friendships uh, to come in as well. 
Now you've got the Ten of Wands, uh, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. So the Ten of Wands, all those fightings and uh, fighting and arguments, um, are now uh, you know almost at an end, really, or at an end of that cycle. This is the whip and the the broom. So something that was ongoing, something that was continuously causing stress and strife for you, has now come to an end. You need to let go of people, let go of burdens, say no to people that are not serving you, and move on. You need to cut out all those responsibilities that are not working for you. And, uh, you know, don't take on other people's burdens as well. The Eight of Wands is about being at that crossroads. Uh, the universe is coming to alignment for you. So things are going to be presenting themselves. You are faced with that decision right now. You can either stay on the side of the, the river or move on. So uh, a need for you to make a big decision and, uh, and move on. So you are facing that crossroads. You are facing that big choice. And, uh, you know, you need to, you can see with this crossroads coming out from the road, it looks like, you know, you've come out from the struggle down this pathway, and now you're faced with three options over here, and you're going to be able to move on. So you need to make that choice about getting away from all that strife and all those responsibilities and all those burdens and all those struggles and move away from it, you know, cross the bridge and go. And you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So the truth will set you free, but this is also being determined, taking that sword in your hands and moving forward. So uh, don't um, really, don't worry about what anybody else thinks about the situation. Stop caring about what any, anybody else thinks. Um, you know, make your decision and move forward. And if anybody else, uh, you know, has got something to say, cut them off. Cut them off and move forward. So you need to make that decision. You can see... It's very, very interesting because there's a crossroads here, moving away from all the strife and struggle and moving aw towards your own identity and your own independence. Uh, the Queen of Swords is generally the, the woman that has been divorced in the tarot, so you're uh, you know, you are moving out of that situation where you were reliant on somebody. Uh, you need to stand up for yourself and you, you must be determined. Cut out anything that is not serving you. Cut out people and cut out situations and move forward. Um, and you will be, be able to sort through this particular situation. So whatever is going on with you, it looks like self-reliance is very, very important. You've got a lot of decisions to make over there, uh, you know, a choice to make over there um, as well with that Seven of Pentacles. Like I said, this could well even be a new job offer that comes in over here. Make sure you're considering it very, very clearly uh, or carefully before you could, you know, you accept it. And um, you've got the moon card over here. So being faced with a choice as well and, uh, you know, having to um, think about your options very, very carefully, very, very clearly as well. Um, so um, don't be rash. Uh, the thing about it is make sure that you're considering things very clearly before you make any choices. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Animal Tarot. And you've got the Nine of Autumn over here. So this is again about independence. Your success has brought you financial security and reward uh, of much deserved time off. And um, you may suddenly have a brilliant idea for business or self-employment uh, that will be very successful. So this is about independence. This is about financial independence. This is about working independently. And this is about looking after yourself. And you've got a lot of cards of independence here. You've got that queen of swords over here showing a very independent uh, person with a very strong mind and a very strong will. And it looks like you've gone off on your, by yourself with that two of cups uh, and being you're being very, very independent. So you've got some choices to make. Uh, you you need to let go of everything that is causing strife in your life or any kind of burdens and responsibilities and move forward. You've got the Princess of Spring over here which says creative opportunities that you feel passionate about, flattering your way, personal growth and broadened horizons that will spike, spark fresh and original ideas. So some good news coming in, some new projects coming in, something that you're going to be passionate on working with, with that Prince of Spring, Princess of Spring rather. So new creative opportunities coming in um, for you there. And, um, you know, you're going to be, um, you know, it's going to have a lot of personal growth as well. And the chariot card is always about success and it is about achievement. After going through a lot of problems and difficulties, you can successfully balance uh, various or opposing energies all at once through determination and focus. You've earned rewards and recognition you are receiving. So this is about achieving victory, you know, and achieving everything that you want, even buying a new home with that chariot card. So your independence coming in over there, victory coming in over there, but you need to stay true to yourself, you know, um, and rely on your own intuition. Um, you have everything it takes, um, you know, whatever decision you have, you will make the right decision, uh, even though you are, you know, um, 
you're trying to make it, you're not quite sure how to do it, uh, but you have everything you need to make this big decision that you have to make and, you know, get your independence back and be very, very uh, clear to everybody else around you that you're not taking any more nonsense from them uh, and you're going to be following your own path this way. Um, and you've got the last... You know, it's just the last hurdle there with that nine of wands. Uh, you know, once you let go of those burdens, so you know all those responsibilities that you're carrying, um, you know, can be the things that are causing that loss that is draining you. Uh, so with that ten of wands, you need to let go of them. All those arguments and fights, you need to cut it off, cut out those people or situations, and move forward with victory there. You've got your independence with that nine of autumn, which is the nine of pentacles. Financial security will come your way, so don't be worried about that. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.